Yeah, in our business, uh, we are actually seeing a very resilient top line. So we finished the first quarter with our overall revenue up actually 1% from prior year. Uh, indeed, our profitability came in slightly below consensus, but um, yeah, that is basically um, not so much um, the movements in, in volumes and, and mix, but it is two unusual items. We did have a revaluation of our share in the SK Hoibach pigment business, as well as um, a negative contribution from the ongoing ramp of our biofuel business. If you correct for these two unusual items, our underlying profitability for the quarter was actually 15.9% which uh, I consider a good number in the current trading conditions. Lumpiness, though, when it comes to the various parts of the business. I can see catalyst sales increased, care chemicals slightly weakened, uh, absorbents and additives weakened too. So what's with the, the lumpiness you're seeing at a various different segment level? Yeah, the lumpiness, what we're say, seeing is uh, we called it um, actually a soft recessionary environment. Um, global GDP uh, was taken down, uh, forecast by, for example, the World Bank from 2.9% to 1.7%. What is important is uh, to look at the components of GDP. We are seeing a shift in consumer spending. In Corona times, uh, we all spent lots of times in our houses. We also spent lots of money on durable goods. We were buying uh, new cell phones, uh, new um, computers, uh, new appliances, new furniture. Now, uh, with Corona times, uh, hopefully and fortunately behind us, we're spending much more time outside our homes, uh, traveling. We're spending time with hotels, airlines. Uh, this is unfortunately not the segment where our products go. So there, there will be a certain rebalancing in the coming quarters. But for now, um, we basically see soft recessionary um, conditions in, in durable goods, which is where our products are going. But we do see a pickup. We anticipate a pickup in the second half of this year as this rebalances. Um, so there's the delicious equation for you, comrade, as ever, which is working out how many price increases you can uh, put upon your consumers, the buyers of your products, in the face of, as you say, a soft recession as well. It looks from this, with an improved core profit margin, that you are managing to put in higher prices and maintain those. Is that the case? Yeah, Steve, we are very pleased with our pricing. Uh, year on year, our pricing is up 7%. Um, but also sequentially from the fourth quarter, we have been able to raise prices by 2% for, and that is the result of the pricing in some businesses that still needed to catch up. Uh, with these, this year-on-year 7% -year um, uh, increased pricing, we have more than offset the increases of raw materials, energy, and freight in all of our businesses, and that's in an environment where we actually see raw materials easing.